Hey everyone, I am here with another VirtualBox video. The other one that I made was about Ubuntu and how to make that run smoothly. This one will be about Windows 7. And so I'll show you the settings that I have in order for Windows 7 to work well without it freezing or preventing it from starting up. Now, what I have noticed in the new version of VirtualBox is that there's two settings that I don't remember it having in the previous one. Um, and those two is when you're creating the, the VM is that you get to choose your edition of the ISO that you have, the edition of Windows 7. And you also get to choose whether to skip the unattended installation. So I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the performance of your virtual machine, but this is what I did. So I selected my ISO. It is a Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. And I was able to click um, from the drop-down menu, Windows 7 Professional, just as it shows there. And also make sure that it says in the version area, Windows 7 64-bit. After that, I made sure to skip unattended installation. Now, I left everything as default and I wanted to make sure if it will install well and also run well without no freezing, without any issue. And I did realize that the default settings did work for me. And so um, I'll show you the settings that I have here. In the system section, in the motherboard tab, you'll see that I gave it two gigs of RAM. Chipset is PIIX3, no TPM, pointing device is USB tablet, because I'm on my laptop and extended features, the only thing that is selected is enable IO APIC. On my processor tab, there's only one processor. Execution cap is 100% and in extended features all are disabled. Here in the acceleration tab, the pair of virtualization interface is set to default and the hardware virtualization is enabled. Next is the display section. In the screen tab, Graphics controller is VBOX SVGA with enabled 3D acceleration disabled. My video, video memory is 27 uh, megabytes. Now I made sure that with all these settings, I closed it, turn it on, closed it, turn it on, did different things, and everything was running normally. So I hope these settings works for you. Stay happy.